Stephen King is a giant of an author. He is loved by his fans and he is hugely influential in the horror genre, the fantasy genre, and in culture in general. I'd never really read much of what he'd written, never a full book, just a couple pages here and there, but all that changed this year when I read uh, just five of his books, and from just five books, and I plan to read more, my life has sort of changed in that my greatest passion, writing, has uh, become better. I've become a better writer, and his influence has helped me so much. And today, I want to tell you exactly how and why, and who I would recommend uh, reading him to. Before I begin the video, I would like to tell you about our sponsor, which is me and my book, It Stings, a collection of prose and poetry. This is a proof copy. I don't have like a copy yet that doesn't say not for resale, but this is the best I have right now. Uh, very exciting. It's my uh, short story and poetry collection, short horror story and poetry collection, speaking of Stephen King, that comes out on March 10th. and. Uh, King has actually been a pretty big influence on this book, but we'll get more into that later. Uh, comes to Amazon in paperback and Kindle, like I said, on March 10th, uh, 2021. For more information, you can visit my website at www.milesbinding.com. That'll be in the description along with the uh, book trailer for this. It stings. Coming soon. All right. Now, going into Stephen King, I started reading him uh, because I'd heard a lot about him. Sorry, I'm gri grabbing some stuff here. I heard a lot about him from friends and from people on the internet, and you know, he's a huge author. People talk about him. People are like, he's great. And so I started, I had a couple of books from him. I had one from a little free library, The Gunslinger, The Dark Tower, and... Uh, that was my first full book that I read from him, and God, this book is weird. And I've heard that some people think it's like the worst of the Dark Tower series. I have not read all of the Dar Dark Tower series, um, but I liked it a lot. It was very strange. Uh, one of the weirdest, maybe the weirdest book I've read. Almost sort of a Alice in Wonderland surreal way to it. Um, and... It's, it's just very strange, and it's like fantasy, but it's anti-fantasy. It's I saw someone comment on YouTube once that it's Stephen King's take on like every genre, and I have to say, I agree. I really liked it. It is not his best work, but I liked it, and, and his style was so unique and nothing like I'd ever read before. And then I went to The Outsider, which is a much newer release of his. Um, this is actually, I believe, the first book that he wrote. Um, excluding, I think, the last few chapters, but I, I, going back to The Outsider, I started this a few years ago. I got, like, maybe that, that much through, and then I just didn't continue it, but then I uh, picked it up again, finished it, liked it a lot. Now, these two books um, are not Stephen King's best work, but they were enough, along with everybody's praise of him, um, they were enough to make me want to read more, and then I read... The Shining, which is just a remarkable book. It's my favorite by him uh, so far, um, and it, it the characterization in it and the descent into madness, it's just, and all the nuance. People talk about the movie as if it has more nuance than the book, but I actually find, you know, maybe there aren't a bunch of visual, like, Easter eggs like in the movie, but... This book is very nuanced, and it has so many influences and so many themes and subtle things that it draws from, and it really is a wonderful book. But um, moving on to the next one, I read Misery, another phenomenal book with great characterization. I'm going to get more into Stephen King's characterization in a minute, but uh, this was a, a great, very suspenseful read, and it offered a lot of uh, insight and thought uh, and philosophy on the art of writing and the and creativity in general and also madness and 
uh, mental problems, that sort of thing. Uh, my most recent book uh, that I've read by Stephen King uh, was Salem's Lot. Very atmospheric, just a very good book. Love vampires, and I love Stephen King now, so it's like perfect for me. Um, and so far, that's what I've read from him. I've not read anything more, but I plan to. I haven't read anything by him in a, like a month or two. Uh, I've been reading some other stuff, but I do plan on getting into him, and I and I look forward greatly to reading some of the greats, uh, or people call them the greats. I'm not sure. I haven't read them yet. They're probably pretty good. Like It, and um, The Stand, and uh, Carrie. I have Carrie. I'm going to read that soon. Uh, it'll probably be a quick read, because it's small. So those are what I've read by Stephen King so far. Uh, my brief little thoughts on them. But let's get into how he has influenced me, uh, both in my reading and my writing. Stephen King has an incredibly unique and weird writing style, and it is not for everybody. I've seen plenty of people say, like, it's just too weird, or he rambles too much, um, or there's just too much buildup before things start actually happening, and I get that. Sometimes uh, an author is not for you, and I can. those are legitimate complaints. They are things that I like, but I understand that some people uh, would not like those things. And I know some people don't like that writing style, but I personally fell in love with it. Now, I say I'm influenced by him, but by no means do I try to copy his writing style. I, I never think you should copy an artist. Uh, they can be an influence and an inspiration, a great influence and inspiration, like Stephen King is now for me, but uh, I don't believe in copying it. But his writing style opened so many doors because he doesn't seem to pay attention to a lot of the norms and rules of prose, um, and he has this strange, like, almost poetic way of writing things where it's like very visceral and it's like about the feel and it sometimes he ignores uh, syntax standards to really add to a sentence and it's poetic yet also at times very blunt and very real and almost like grim dark kind of uh, feel to it um, and that just is great for what he writes which is you know primarily horror and then other stuff he writes some um, h higher fantasy, I guess, with Dark Tower and stuff, and he, he writes in, like, every genre, which is awesome, and it's great that he's so versatile. So that writing style really opened my eyes. I was like, I can be weirder, and I can make my writing a little more flowery, I guess, and a little stranger, and maybe some people won't like that, but it, you know, the person that matters uh, with that, with my art, uh, the person whose opinion matters with my art the most is myself, and I want to write what I love, and I like what I write so much more now that I sort of realized how weird or just verse-like or just visceral I can make my prose. It's just opened so many doors. You know, before uh, when I wrote, everything kind of was too blunt and like it was just like and then this happened and this happened this happened um that might have come from me reading a lot of YA nothing against YA I'm writing a YA thing right now but uh, a lot of YA the prose is kind of not great and it's just like this happened this happened this happened and that can be fun too um I certainly like it when books are like that especially if I'm reading something extra flowery kind of need a break um but mine was far too much like that, and there was a lack of characterization and a uh, lack of style. So Stephen King really opened the door there. And let's go to another door he opened a little more, was, which was characterization. I have yet to discover a writer who goes quite as deep as Stephen King does with characterization. Maybe there's someone I'm forgetting that I've read. Um, and, you know, I'm not just talking about one character, but I mean uh, someone who goes into, like, every character who is significant, um, you know, and he usually writes um, third-person omniscient, not always, sometimes it's more third-person limited, and I've heard he has like a book or two that's first-person, but it's easier to do that when you're third-person omniscient, and uh, he really takes advantage of that, and really go into characters and who they are, get into the nitty-gritty. He goes places that I don't even want to ever go with writing, like characters going to the bathroom, that kind of thing. I'm, I don't plan on writing characters going to the bathroom unless I really have to. Um, but 
his you know ardent uh desire to make characters real and grounded and complex it just shows through so well you know i i've been reading uh song of ice and fire that's a close second but you know stephen king really takes uh takes the cake for for characterization for me at least so far out of things i've read and his character work is just absolutely writing changing it's it's changed the way i write characters and the way i approach them and try to really get into people's heads you know that seems obvious and i've always tried to do that but he sort of showed me how i could do it better and how uh complex people really are and um you know that's another way he has influenced me greatly those are sort of the two big ways he has influenced me and you know lastly the way he's influenced me is um just his ideas, his his stories, his settings. Uh, he's made me fall in love even more with horror and the macabre. Um, shown me how to write it a little better, um, and you know that kind of that kind of stuff. You know that the more obvious influence, I guess. And he has been. I keep saying the word influence. I feel like I'm saying it too much, but he has been a great big influence on. It's staring. A collection of prose and poetry that I was playing with my stands. I'll plug. Um, you know, a couple of the stories uh, really draw a little bit from his ideas, and um, I think when you read it, you're gonna see um, me taking influence and taking inspiration from his writing style and his characterization. Um, a couple of these stories are third-person omniscient and. They wouldn't be if I didn't, you know, read stories by him that show just how well uh, that can work in certain stories. So yeah, that's uh, my take on Stephen King thus far. I plan on reading more of him, and I absolutely love uh, his work so far. He's not for everyone, but he's definitely for me. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you want to see more stuff about writing and the arts and maybe some other random stuff and random thoughts that come to me, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. I feel like such a YouTuber now. Subscribe! Like and subscribe, guys! Hit that notification bell. Uh, pound that like button! But yeah, check, check, check stuff out. Watch that book trailer. That book's coming out. If you like Stephen King, maybe you'll like this book too. Of course, he isn't the only influence on it, but you might like the book. I don't know. Buy it. Give me money. Now. I mean, on March 10th. Okay, bye.